gone over all different uh, types of stencils. Um, what I want to go over right now is, um, you know, a little more advanced with the stencil um, and the artwork as far as skateboarding goes. You know, you don't always have to be the guy going down 14 sets of stairs. You can be the guy uh, designing the graphic of the kid using that board, or uh, maybe he's wearing your sweatshirt. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, some examples of some, basically a, a next level stencil. Um, and the funniest thing about this stencil is that it's um, from the 80s. Um, here's an example of uh, the artwork. Um, the artwork was done by uh, a friend of Schutz uh, in the mid 80s. Um, from there, um, this all over print on a board, uh, kind of ahead of its time. This one here we've created from the negative space off of this one here. Um, we've done some artwork uh, with this one for uh, t-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, lining of a jacket. Um, here's the uh, example of, uh, of two hoodies that were made with this similar graphic. Um, we've also done the hat in multiple colors um, as well as uh, this one here, this snapback. Um, and it's kind of cool where you can take a lot of the uh, original graphics um, and uh, create stencils uh, with them. We've even gone as far as taking some of our um, stock logos uh, right here. So matching here from the stencils. Um, this kind of stencil for the grip, um, best way to do these is if you print out the image or take the image and upload it into your computer and if you reverse or turn it around, um, you can do that in Photoshop. Once you've printed it out, then you can apply it to um, the back of this to get the cutout so it'll show the correct way. Mm -hmm.